Hey, what's going on everybody? In today's lesson, I'm going to be addressing one of the members questions. It was referring to one of the beginners lessons in the beginners course. So if you haven't seen that, go check it out. So we're talking about that dreadful string ringing that everybody hates how to eliminate that and how to play your notes clean, clear, and precise. I'm gonna be showing you some techniques on top of the one that I showed in the course, so let's go. So in that particular lesson, I was showing you guys how to dampen your strings or whatever string is ringing by just plucking and placing your finger back down on that string. Or if you're using two fingers, one, two, you might pluck with the first and come down with the second. Same thing, alternate. All right, so pluck with the second, come down with the first if you're doing consecutive notes. So that's very simple, very easy. You can use that technique on your right hand as well as muffling the strings here or dampening the, the strings or the note that's ringing with your left hand or with your fretting hand. Simple, right? So even though I showed you guys these two techniques on both hands, one of the members was still having a problem with other strings ringing, and that's totally fine. Like in this case, I probably shouldn't be playing this bass right now, but this is a five string, uh, but I was playing it on a four string before. Doesn't matter, same rules apply. And I'm gonna show you a little technique on your right hand that you can do that you can add to those two techniques that we've already talked about. So if you're plucking, you're coming down on your fretting hand, you're damping that string, as well as coming down with your plucking hand, right? But the other strings are ringing. Say if you're playing a scale, So let me just show you guys what I'm doing. It's so funny because years ago when I did one-on-one -on -one private lessons, one of my students showed me exactly what I was doing and he asked me why was I doing that particular thing. And I didn't even realize I was involuntarily doing this particular technique without even knowing. And sometimes you develop techniques like that just because you want to get around it the best way possible or uh, you know, you're trying to eliminate a sound that you don't like and you just, you know, without even thinking you'll do a technique or, or you'll execute something that you wouldn't, never even thought of. So this is one of those cases. So let's get a, I'll, I'll, I'll try to get a, let's get a shot over, overhead shot of this, right? So in this shot, what I'm doing is you see my ring finger and my fourth finger resting on two strings that I'm not using. So say if I'm plucking on the G string, my ring finger and index on my right hand, on my plucking hand is resting on the D and the G, uh, the D and the A, sorry. And then, uh, if I'm plucking the D string, my two fingers, the third and the fourth finger are resting on the A and the E. And if I'm playing a five string, it'll be on the E and the B. So as you can see, guys, it's, it's hard to see frontwards, right? You kind of have to look inside because my fingers are hiding what I'm doing. So you won't see the technique, it's so subtle, but I mentioned it a while ago before, but in that particular, particular beginner's course, I think I forgot to mention it. But those are three ways you can help dampen your strings. So say if you're playing uh, a C major scale, without even looking, without even thinking, I automatically go to this technique. My third and fourth finger automatically rest on the E and the A to keep them from ringing. Now, the more strings you have, the tougher it is to eliminate the string ring, but you still have to come up with these techniques to help you. Sometimes you, I lay one finger down on two strings at the same time. Sometimes it's using several fingers. It depends on how I'm feeling <laughs> that day. Uh, but even when I played a six string and a seven string before, it was harder to eliminate that string ring. It's, so you see guys having the fret wraps. I have one of those fret wrap things. I don't know if you've seen them. Looks like a scrunchie. Uh, Victor Wooten used to use those, literally the, use the hair ties uh, that girls wear. Um, and put them on the end of his base, on around his neck so it can muffle or mute the strings a little bit more. It's almost like a palm muting technique, if you will, right? So what I did was use all of those three techniques to be able to achieve a clean sound so I don't have any string ring. Now, mind you, sometimes I do have some string ring. You're gonna have that occasionally, but to eliminate that, use those three techniques that we talked about. Plucking, placing your hand back down, dampening the string at the same time, plucking, muffling the string with your left hand or your fretting hand, and then at the same time, whatever notes aren't ringing, you place your third and your fourth on them. You just rest them there. So I'm using all three techniques right now. Okay, but it seems like a lot, but it'll combine into one technique, one string, cance string ring, how should I say it? String ring canceling technique, I don't know whatever you want to call it, but it combines into one technique. So make sure you keep at it. Just practice with the techniques and the exercises that I gave you in the beginner's course with just some simple quarter notes, 
eighth notes, sixteenth notes, uh, playing the scale up and down. Just something simple so you don't have to pay attention to your fretting hand as much so you can get that technique, the dampening technique or the muffling or the string ring canceling technique down okay and again guys don't be distracted because i'm playing a five string it does not matter six string seven string five string four string three string well not three string but you get the idea it's the same concept all around the board all right just making sure you use those three techniques together make sure your notes are coming out clean clear and precise and i'll see you guys in the next one